Today we are going to talk about the Flipper Zero, what this guy can do with RFIDs, NFC, remote controls and things like that. Let's start. I have a lock and as you can see for this lock I have an ID card. Now this is not RFID specifically 125 kilohertz but this is 1356 megahertz. Let me first connect the Flipper Zero to a computer so you can see what's going on on the screen, okay? The Flipper Zero right now has the extreme firmware. It's a custom firmware, it's not official firmware but uh, you know modified firmware and I like this firmware I, I have the uh, additional modules for this firmware but uh, today we are going to clone this RFID which is specifically compatible with the NFC we are going to use NFC app and for that I'm gonna go into NFC and I'm gonna see use the width but before that let's see if it works okay as you can see this works right so I'm gonna lock this again and then I'm going to do read. And as you can see, this card was copied. This specific card is Mifir Classic 1K, and this one is compatible with the NFC. So you cannot use RFID 125 kilohertz app from Flipper Zero to clone this card. Now let's emulate the card and see what we can do. We do more and emulate. That's it. That's how easy it is to clone these specific cards. I also have 125 kilohertz RFIDs. And for this, I have to use the RFID application from Super Zero. I cannot clone these cards using the same NFT app. I'm going to show you that it's not possible to use NFC app to clone. I'm in NFC and I'm going to do read. And as you can see, nothing is happening because this specific card is not NFC compatible. It's not 1356 megahertz, it's 125 kilohertz. So let's exit from here and use RFID app and then do read and wait. Wait, okay, it is cloned. Now let's see if I can open with this card. Emulate and of course you can open it. By the way, you can also save this information. The one I just cloned, copied, I should say, I can write it or save it or emulate. If I save it, I can come back later on anytime, even after rebooting the Flipper Zero. Open this saved file, for example, I'll go save, and I can again emulate it. And this is how easy it is to clone the RFID cards as well. Now, this card, this tag is a little bit different than this one. This one, I think it's a master. That's why it's beeping so much. So if you use this one, it doesn't beep that much, right? But what we can do is we can also copy this one. And let's go to read. Of course. And then we can clone, not clone, emulate this one too. You see? Okay, so we were able to clone RFID cards working on 125 kilohertz. We also were able to clone NFC compatible RFID cards. And now let's clone the infrared. And looks like here's the infrared receiver. And let's see what we can do with the remote control. If you press on, it's on. Off, it's off, right? And now let's see what we can do with the infrared. Let's go into infrared application. Let's try and learn the new remote. So for that, we go into learn new remote, we press the middle button, the center button, and we aim just like on the picture. And we say on. And as you can see, this was recognized. Now I can save this and I will save this. I named it LED on. Now I can press right arrow and add additional buttons, which I can learn again. And I'm gonna let it learn off button. Now let's save this one too. And now as you can see, I have LED on and LED off, right? So now instead of using this remote control, what I can do here is this. You see, it works. And LED off. Now, for that to work, you have to aim that. So, for example, if I do, if I turn this around and I'll 
in my wall, it probably won't work. You see, it doesn't, well, it, it's kind of work, not as good as, you know, for example, if I do this, it doesn't work, right? But let me show you this. If I use blaster, infrared blaster, which I bought recently, this is handmade actually. The guy who sells that, he actually made this by his own hand. And he was very helpful when I had to order this one. So now let's change it to the extra. So this one is very powerful. I tested this and it works even through the uh, through the t-shirt or for far, far away. And let me show you how it works. I go into learn saved remotes three and I don't have to aim that. You remember this infrared receiver is on the other side and I'm going to do it the other side and check this out. It works. <laughs> you don't need to aim that. It's so powerful. It's so far. It just works. Look, look on off. It, <laughs> it's, it's very, very powerful. It actually has seven infrared LEDs. Uh, I don't know. Do you call it LED on the infrared? I don't remember, but it's very powerful. <laughs> it's, it's so powerful. I didn't test how far it can go, but definitely it works in, on entire my home. Like even if I, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna put this on my, I don't know, car and I'll go far away and see how it works. Not in this video though, but again, this blaster, infrared blaster is very, very powerful. I'm gonna put the link of this module under the description. Okay, we cloned everything what we had. Now let's it's time to clone the remote control key fobs like this. Okay, uh, this is the relay that is connected to 12 volt. And if I press on, it enables the relay. And if I press off, it disables it. Actually, I don't need to aim that. It just works. Now, let's copy this remote control. I'm gonna go into sub gigahertz and I'm gonna do read and on. Okay, this is copied and now let's save it. Now let's copy the off button. Save it. Now let's try and emulate this remote control. We're going to save it. On off. Let's do on first. Emulate. And you have to press the center button again to actually send the signal. And it works. Now let's do off, which is this one. Again, open it, go into emulate and press center button to emulate that. And it works again. So as you can see, these remote controls can be also copied. Now, if you have the remote control like this, for example, I've seen businesses, they, they use something similar to lock the door temporary uh, at, at home or at business and by just clicking this, they op they unlock the door. Don't do that, please. It's very easy to copy unless you use the more expensive version of the remote controls that nowadays use the rolling calls. This is very easy to copy. So the stores who use this or businesses just to lock the door after 6, 7, 8 p.m. and then unlock, everyone has the key to unlock it and enter without the key, right? Bad idea, really bad idea because it's really easy to copy this. And if you have something like this, it's even easier to copy. You can be very far away. You don't have to be close to the key fob. So be mindful, don't do that. But uh, yeah, for today, this is it. Uh, I'll probably make videos about the Flipper Zero in the future. Not probably, I definitely will do. I'm gonna start using this in my small projects and uh, I'll I'll be making videos about it. This is it for now. If you like the video or you want to see my future videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, click the like button. That will help me 
because this is a brand new channel, you know, I need subscribers, likes and things like that. And again, if you want to be notified on the new video, click the ring bell next to the subscribe button. This is it for now, for today. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, night or whatever time it is at your time zone right now.